Hello and welcome to What Culture Gaming. I am Josh, joined by the man who plays everything himself, Good Scott Lord. Tilford, Hello. and he is bloody excited because of a Splinter Cell listing on Amazon. Now, well, let's 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 step back stay in. calm for now because we don't have any images, we don't have anything. <laughs> All we have is a listing of Splinter Cell on Amazon Canada for uh, 2018. It literally just says Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell 2018. And that is all we have. But oh my god. Oh my god. I'm Does this mean this. that Splinter Cell is finally coming back? Because, I mean, what, the last one was 2013, Splinter Cell Blacklist? Yep. Which is bloody good. It was phenomenal. I mean, granted that, like, obviously they lost Michael Ironside. That was the biggest reason why a lot of people didn't really check it out. And you played as, uh, I forget the name of the guy, but he came in from some TV show. And they basically recast Sam Fisher. They kind of changed his character quite a bit too. Um, and a lot of people bounced off that. But the general gameplay of it was brilliant. So good. It was the perfect blend for me of Conviction's more brutal, you know, predator takedowns and the more methodical style of, like, Chaos Theory. Yes. Yes. Also looked pretty gorgeous as well. I mean, I think there was an additional texture pack for it that made it look really, really nice. Um, but yeah, I mean, at the minute, it seems like it's it's all up for grabs. Um, my assumption, or rather my wish list theory would be, or hope, would be that they get Ironside back. Yeah. And uh, and either re put him back in as Fisher. I mean, Sam Fisher's age has been all over the place in the games. They even acknowledge it um, that like he's never really been consistent. Um, and get either get him back and maybe put him in like a supporting role. You could have Fisher, you know, teaching a new bunch of cells how to sneak mm. and how to do things. Make it so the Fisher's the guy in your earpiece um, and go forward from there. Because in the actual story canon, Lambert is dead. Who was like your main guy? Yeah. Uh, Grim's daughter, I think, is still around. Uh, but it, the only way to maintain that Splinter Cell feel and go forward in the chronology would to maybe have him as like a helper role. Oh, so you wouldn't want Sam Fisher in the main role? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I just want I just want Mike Lionside's voice, and I'm trying yeah. to think of like how to make it play well and maintain the fact that you know Ironside himself has other projects and and that kind of thing. And because I, to, to recast Fisher again, I don't even know. Oh no! Like Ironside is Sam Fisher. We he is. Can't, we can't do that again. No, but. Is this coming out in 2018, do you think? Realistically, because oh, it's God, titled man. Splinter Cell 2018, but is that realistic, do you think? I mean, it's been a while. Uh, yeah. I mean, Ubisoft have a hell of a lot of studios that tend to be working on a whole bunch of projects at any given time. Um, and, you know, most of the time they have a whole load of prototypes all ready to go. Uh, we actually saw one a few years back uh, inside Watch Dogs 2. They basically had a game that was gearing up to be the next No Man's Sky, which they abandoned and ran the hell away from when <laughs> No Man's Sky crashed and burned in itself. Makes sense. Um, but Ubisoft are a studio that are always, you know, they're always on the button if they're always approaching various buttons at any given time, uh, ready to push each one. So I think there's probably already uh, various Splinter Cell prototypes that have been made and um, that have maybe been backed away from based on the way the market dictates. Uh, stealth games haven't really been a massive draw. No. We had Splinter Cell, uh, we had Metal Gear Solid 5 in 2015. Um, 2016, 2015? 2015. 2015. Um, but that's it. I mean, I can't think of any other AAA stealth games. It's a Far Cry away from lol, Far Cry. Hey. Stealth games in Far Cry. Hey. There is stealth in Far Cry. Oh my God, it makes perfect sense. But, it's <laughs> but I was going to say, it, it's a Far Cry away from the way that the industry used to be in the 2000s when we got like Hitman, Splinter Cell, Metal Gear. Yeah. They were all in tandem and there were other little spin offs as well across the across the Oh, decade. if it comes back, I'm for sure it'll be more action focused than, you know, I, w mm. it won't, I don't think it'll be a return to sort of Chaos Theory style sneaking around. It'll be more in the vein of Blacklist, which is, you know, that's, if, if, if we're going to get Splinter Cell, Blacklist is fine. That's a, that's a decent yes. foundation to build on, I think. Blacklist was a good uh, combo, though. I mean, they had that whole thing where, like, obviously, Chaos Theory was, you could argue was the zenith of a complete stealth focused way to go and then when they did double agent they started getting all narrative and then they had um like the way more like action focused of conviction and then even in blacklist you can just play it as a third person shooter which i don't know any i don't know anyone who did that but you could do an assault playthrough if you wanted um that would be something that they would have to approach or have already like thought through what kind of you know personality or identity does spent cell need to have i would argue it's like chaos theory yes um because they went down a weird downward slope with conviction um, and a lot of people might remember the early uh, E3 trailer, I think it was from 2006, when they first showed Conviction and it was a, a homeless Sam Fisher flipping tables at guards and doing lots of melee combat and everyone was like, what the oh, I f*** is this? I was a child and even I was oh, like, God. stressed out I was a that. teen and I was like, what are you doing? And uh, it's, yeah, and so, you know, they went on a weird sort of action route, which you could argue maybe they were trying to ensnare a wider audience, but it didn't work. Yeah. Uh, and that kind of backfired when Blacklist returned in some elements to the way Chaos 3 felt, uh, if you went stealthy. Um, but uh, you know the, the the proof is in the pudding kind of thing. The sales didn't come through for it. So I don't know. Right. But there's a listing. There is. And that's better than nothing. Which yeah. means someone out there is doing something, some machination to make Splinter Cell happen. Good lord. And I hope it's the show because I think it could be, man. Oh. Oh, it'll be stuff to set a precedent for quick releases, even though they usually though, announce things quite far in advance. With Watch Dogs 2, they announced and released in the same year. Yes. Splinter Cell is obviously bigger at this moment in time. 
Could they do it? I think they could, because they've only got the crew and, of course, Far Cry, Far Cry coming out this year. That it, is, it is quite big. barren. Triple A. It's a barren. I mean, both of those are going to be first half of the year. True. Far Cry's out in a couple of weeks. The crew is sometime soon. <laughs> <laughs> the crew, too, is arriving at some point. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, speaking of genres, this stealth game would slot in quite nicely alongside the likes of Red Dead Redemption 2, State of Decay, and all the other big games that are coming. Oh, God. Oh, I've just, just realized. Go on. <laughs> it's going to be open world. Oh, no, it's not. It is. It is. Uh, well, Blacklist had a bit of that. You basically had your little hub world and a bunch of uh, missions that you could drop into, and you could replay them in different ways and different mission goals. There's a way to do it. Mm. But you, you can't do it in world, fully open world, because how's he going to get around? I don't know. How, we didn't think that about Metal Gear Solid, but they went open world. Yeah. Oh, oh I don't anyway, want to. Anyway, oh. anyway, we don't even know if it's real. So I mean, We don't on. know if it's real, and if they're going to do it, maybe give Fifth Echelon a, a giant ship to fly around in, like what he had in Blacklist. I all right. Regardless, you guys can let us know what you think down in the comments. Is Splinter Cell making your turn? I hope to the Lord himself that it is. And either way, I've been Scott from whatculture.com. I've been Josh from whatculture.com. I'll catch you soon.